What's up guys? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and happy Artsy Fartsy Friday. Today's video is something new and I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, new-ish things on my channel. Um, and a big part of that involves practicing realism. So I had this idea sort of impulsively that I was going to create as many Christmas gifts as possible this year and um, that involved a skill that I <laughs> did not really have and that involves drawing realism. Um, realism is something that I rarely do and have rarely ever done and it's not some something I'm comfortable with at all um, and so that was a really fun challenge for me and I have another video coming soon that I think it's it'll be next week's video but I, I talk more about how I tackled realism in particular uh, and so I will save that for that video but in this video I'm drawing my mom's dog Daisy well I'm painting her I'm painting her with my Windsor & Newton watercolor set which I'm quickly going through this you guys I'm gonna need some more watercolors soon so if you have any recommendations let me know um, so this is Daisy <laughs> Daisy is my mom's dog she's a chihuahua mix I'm not sure what exactly she's mixed with but she's taller than a chihuahua she doesn't bark really um, and she has a more elongated face than a chihuahua Although the picture that I, I ended up doing of her didn't really show that. Uh, she looks a lot more like a chihuahua than she does in real life. But uh, <laughs> my mom loves this dog. She says she doesn't, but she loves this dog. And so does my stepdad. So this is also kind of a combined gift for both of them. Uh, and when you see next week's video, you're going to probably laugh because next week's video is the gift that I am creating for my dad and my stepmom. And it may seem that that one's like a lot more sentimental and that one's like a lot more like time put into it. But believe me guys, like my mom loves this dog. And my mom has a lot of my early artwork and, and things like that. So I feel like, you know, for my mom, this was like a fun way for me to give a gift to her. And also like it is still sentimental and meaningful and all of that. So um, I decided to draw her dog or paint her dog. I don't know why I keep saying draw. Like I did draw this um, and I will, like I said, I will talk more about how I approached drawing realism in next week's video. And if you guys would like, I could do a more in-depth video after that as well. Like if you watch that one and you still want more information, um, I could definitely do that. And also kind of talking more about tutorials, um, I think I'm finally getting to a point where I would be comfortable kind of explaining some beginning watercolor techniques that I've sort of picked up. As you guys know, recently I have just been on a kick with watercolors. Like I don't know what it is, but I can't stop using them. Um, and I just have this little 12 pan set that I use constantly and I'm I just, I don't know, I, I feel like it's finally clicked with me, I feel like I finally get it, um, and I like the freedom that watercolor has, and at the same time I think it's like, you know, just a fun way for me to get out of my element and feel a little bit less contr control over the whole process, and I end up liking it a lot. So watercolor has sort of given me this confidence to try new things and explore different areas like realism, which is something I never would have attempted with Copic markers, just out of fear, you know, but because this is watercolor and because I feel like I can make mistakes with watercolor, I had the courage to do this. So I do have some sort of very um, rudimentary techniques that I think maybe some of you would benefit from. So if you would like me to do a tutorial on that as well, I would be happy to. Um, Going into 2018, this is also something I wanted to talk about in this video, I'm cutting back to one video a week, which some of you guys might be disappointed by, some of you guys might be neutral, uh, some of you guys might be happy, I don't know. But as it is right now, three videos a week is way too much. Um, I'm really spreading myself too thin with finals and everything else that's going on. So it's just, it's not possible. Um, and that's just where we're at. So. 
you know. Um, I'm going to be coming down to one video a week and I will only be posting on Fridays. I will still be diversifying my content quite a bit so I'll still be doing tutorials and reviews and speed paints. Um, they will just be once a week instead of three times a week. And as it is right now, I don't think I'm going to concern myself with the vlog channel right now. That's just not something I want to do. Um, I've kind of been burnt out on vlogging a little bit and I just kind of feel like I will save that for a, a better time. Like right now the time doesn't really seem right. I know a lot of you like the vlogs um, and maybe I will move towards trying to do more vlog style content on my Instagram stories, things like that. But as of right now, I just, I don't really want to keep that on my main channel and at the same time it's just another thing that I have to worry about editing and uploading um, so that's just how I feel right now um, and I will do a whole video about this kind of where I go over my you know 2017 resolutions and my 2018 resolutions and I'll do a whole video about that I have a whole kind of list of videos that I need to get around to do before the end of 2017 so you guys will see those um, and just to talk a little bit about what I'm doing right now, I'm going in with my Stadler colored pencils and just sort of refining a few of the details. The only thing with watercolor is that I feel like I can't usually get the dark pigments that I want. Um, when I mix black by combining uh, brown and blue, uh, I think it's burnt sienna and indigo, I don't really find that it's a deep enough black, so I I went in with colored pencils to further kind of deepen the the eyes and the nose, and then um, also kind of just refine the texture of the fur a little bit and clean it up. So yeah, this did not take me very long at all. <laughs> Actually, that was the other interesting thing is that this went really quickly. Um, so what's interesting for it being something new and a medium that I'm still learning about is that. This didn't take me long. Normally when you're trying something new, it takes you twice as long as it would if you, you know, knew what you were doing. But that wasn't the case with this, and I'm not really sure why. Um, I'm adding some details with some white gouache as well, just to further intensify the highlights. And um, what I did this year for my Christmas gifts is I took these images. Not only did I give the, the painting itself as a gift, but I took the image, uploaded it to Redbubble, and gifted... Uh, this image on a pillow and a coffee mug as well so not only is it like a cute sentimental gift but you can also convert it into a really easy usable gift as well using Redbubble and Redbubble has been a huge lifesaver for me this uh, holiday season and will definitely continue to be a very valuable resource for me in my future gift giving adventures uh, so yeah I do have a Redbubble thank you for those of you guys who've been making purchases on my Redbubble I really appreciate it um, my store envy is open and um, I always appreciate the support so yeah but that's that's pretty much it for this video um, I'm just adding in the final detail which is writing her name on the dog tag so you can see Daisy right there in all her glory um, and that's it so I'll put it in the final painting here so you can look at it. And um, that's it for me today. Have a lovely Christmas, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!